I think people these days get way too much of their validation and personal identity from their careers. I know as designers, this is a huge problem and something I've personally been struggling with over the past few years. So sit back, enjoy this collection of footage I put together, and let's talk about it. I talk a lot on social media about finding time to rest, recharge, and overall, fulfillment outside of your career. However, I feel like I have not done the best job of practicing what I preach until now. When I was first getting into design in high school and up until throughout college, I had a pretty healthy relationship with it. I loved doing design work and focusing on the craft, but I also took plenty of time to enjoy myself, especially in the college days. One of the most memorable and fun times of my life was hanging with friends three to four times a week when I was up in college in Northern California. At the time, graphic design for me was this fun thing that I did as my coursework at school and experimented with on some late nights in my room or hung over in the morning. And it stayed like that, you know, for a while, but somewhere along the path between graduating and the COVID pandemic and mix in starting my career at kind of a weird time in LA, design became this beast that overtook my life from a craft, monetary, and now content standpoint. It's a really strange feeling when your favorite hobby officially becomes your career. I worked at an agency in Hollywood that completely drained my creative energy every day. Honestly, it drained my energy in general. I got accustomed to ideas getting shut down, working on super small parts of a project and never really feeling rewarded for it and kind of just living my day-to-day -day life for the work. From 7 a.m. to 6.30 p.m., Monday through Friday, my dreams as an innocent college student who wanted to work at a cool design agency in Hollywood were slowly being crushed by the reality of the corporate machine. I did this for a while. I worked at this first job, I think for a little bit over a year when I was living in West Hollywood and I finally had had enough. I quit that job to pursue more meaningful avenues of design. And luckily I kind of had that clairvoyance because I would have got fired anyway. One month later, good old COVID hit. And honestly, at that time, COVID was probably the least of my worries. In 2020, for me, the worst thing that happened was not COVID, was not being isolated in my room, but my mom passing in 2020. And the reason I'm telling you this is I think the context for this story is important and it's not just for you to feel bad or anything, but I think some of the, the trauma of me dealing with that sent me into this workaholic spiral that I'm still barely easing my way out of. And I think that this, Stuff like this is just kind of proving to me that when bad things happen, uh, the way that you process them is you never really know and it can further exasperate some of the things that were already negative. So workaholic, that happening, psh, shot that through the roof, you know? And I realized the past few years that that is one of my biggest coping mechanisms with bad things is focusing on the work and deep concentration to block out all the outside noise. And at face value, yeah, this can maybe be seen as a good thing. I've even had people tell me things like, oh, you get more work done when you're sad? All I do is sit around. It's still a net negative, but I guess there is some silver lining there, sure. Only to an extent. The deeper issue lies within seeking validation solely from work and for me, design, and not enough from outside forces. And I think that we fall into this trap, especially as creatives, because so much of our identity is wrapped up in with the work and how we feel. And that's how we produce the best stuff and the best art. It's really hard to separate from that because you almost need to connect with it to produce good stuff. At the end of the day, though, I don't think I'm going to look back on my life when I'm older and remember those late nights I worked on a client project or spent way too long editing a YouTube video and ignoring my personal relationships. And while I am extremely grateful to a certain point for that two year grind mode that I set myself on because it gave me so many opportunities and aided in growing this amazing audience of like-minded creatives that I've grown to love. However, there should be a lot more balance. Since moving to more of the suburbs outside of the main city of Los Angeles, 
I have found myself trying to enjoy things outside of work a lot more. And not just things I was doing before, like going out and getting drunk on the weekends or hanging out at night, but genuine, wholesome, everyday activities that bring me happiness. It is definitely still a work in progress, but the progress part of that acronym is definitely happening. I think when we put way too much of our identity, source of happiness, and time into our career, it can taint the reason we got into that craft in the first place. Putting the pressures of capitalism, success, and worst of all, comparing yourself to others can really fuck your mind up. I absolutely love my career choice, and at this point, I don't think I would trade it for anything else. But the more I make it my identity, the more I need to be careful. If myself is too wrapped up in my career, it can cause detrimental effects on you know your mental health and the way you view the rest of the world. This design sucks, well then I suck. If there's a greater respect and separation between those two things, you and your career, ultimately you will get to enjoy the highs of it a little bit less, but the lows will not bring you down nearly as much and your baseline will be a lot more healthy and I think overall it'll be better. That is the balance that I'm searching for. Knowing myself, I'm probably always gonna want some kind of fulfillment from my design career and being a creative as a whole. I'm working on that, being a smaller part of the pie of my overall self. Lately, I've been enjoying more of the little things. Spending time with my partner, weekly trivia nights at this local brewery, and rock climbing with my friends. I think I didn't realize how awful the pandemic was on both my physical and mental health until recently when you know the dust has finally settled and we're almost completely normalized at least where i live and my priorities have definitely switched and i'm trying to reframe what i truly enjoy friends and my partner in general are becoming a lot of a bigger focus point for me during those isolated times of the pandemic and working from home, so often I did not realize how important those human connections are for me. There's something so nice about having a daily routine or weekly scheduled times to hang out with people you love and truly disconnect from social media, work, and just technology in general. I know I'm rambling a bit, but I really wanted to keep these thoughts organic and authentic to myself. And doing this YouTube stuff for a while now, I'm trying my best to stay authentic and not become a character of myself. And I owe that mindset to not only me, but to all of you. Long story short, not that short, I guess, but take more time to enjoy things outside of your career. When we take our final breaths, the people around us are not going to remember how good our Instagram posts were, the cool projects we spent all day working on, or the countless meetings and pointless phone calls. We will be remembered as friends, brothers, mothers, fathers, children, and humans. I love being a graphic designer, but these days I love even more being a human.